the rules of anime. I'm watching what is rumored to be this incredible new anime. Yep, there it is. Rule number 27. The forest bathing scene. He must be about to meet the lead female. But of course, due to the amazing coincidental circumstances, she thinks that he's a peeping Tom that doesn't want to have anything to do with him. So she's running off with some evil doer in here. Yeah, like the hero saves her, but since he's not the one who's perfect swordsman yet, he gets her. Which, of course, all by rule number 18. Female featured hero he can see. Oh, brother. You can always tell when they're in love by the 15th rule of anime. Flowers in the foreground or bubbles in the background equals love. Not so fast they wind up that little duo. Which is usually where the villain shows up. He likes to use big, complicated words that don't really make any sense. What are you doing here? By the various henchmen and I are here too. Again. What are you doing here? Well, it's quite simple, really. She will take you to the portal of the Mystic Race. Thinking he's already gone, he's required to disclose his entire plan before. <laughs> Stirring onto me the ultimate power! Uh, number 16. The bad guys required to supplement 30 seconds of loading on every evil act. What's this a matter? According to rule number four, he has to set his henchmen after us in order to increase the difficulty. Hey, that's my line! <laughs> so that I can defeat him all in turn. Probably with the help of some old friend of mine who will turn and have once been a great warrior who is now lying behind him. By that time, when you meet up with the main villain again, I'll be strong enough to defeat him. That is, of course, after my really cool entrance. A moment of peril, the villain's last attempt to bring me and you over to his cell. You've got this all planned out, don't you? Well, if that doesn't work, I'll just wait until he starts to look. Stab him. Fly on him. I hate that I'm loading. Somebody needs to get me a better claw line. 